and I'm here with Ian Newcomb, Manager of Venues at Windsport, to find out about what is required in order to open up the terrain park and about the snowmaking, which has been a little bit hard to do in this unseasonably warm weather that we're having. So Ian, it's been relatively warm in Calgary, and so the public and we're wondering, what is left in order to open up the terrain park? Yeah, so our big thing right now is with these um, warm conditions here, we haven't been able to make a lot of snow, and the snow we have made is at really marginal conditions. And uh, the best kind of snowmaking that we need is minus five or colder, um, like almost zero humidity, and for a 24 hour period. Um, so right now behind us, you can see the half pipe. Mm -hmm. And the half pipe needs about 10,000 cubic meters of snow to make. Um, which is about over a thousand dump trucks worth of snow. Um, right now we're not quite there but we're getting close so we're hoping that in the next like five to six days we can make a bunch of snow and then uh, we'll start building the pipes. Awesome and so a lot of Calgarians think that it's a very dry climate here in Calgary. Can you explain how the humidity affects the snow and how humid it actually is? Yeah, for sure. Um, as you can tell how foggy it is right now, that fog is actually humidity, which is a moisture in the air. So when you're making snow, our biggest thing that we want is our water droplet um, to freeze in the atmosphere and then drop the snow. Um, when it's humid outside, that water droplet is then gaining more moisture, taking longer to freeze. It becomes wet snow. And instead of those big whales of dry snow you guys see when it's minus 10 or colder, it's actually making more slushy kind of snow. That snow we then need to cure, which is actually letting the water leach out of the snow and then push it around. And the biggest problem with that is it's really inefficient snowmaking mm -hmm. um, because you are losing half that water due to that wet slushy snow. Awesome. So a lot of people might not be aware that we have a new automated snowmaking system in place this year. So how has that helped become more efficient? And basically, can you explain to us what that means? Yeah, for sure. So throughout the last two summers, we've installed 20 automated snowmaking guns, which are called Super Pole Cats, mm -hmm. through snowmaking um, industries. Uh, we use a system called Smart Snow, and it's mm -hmm. actually run by a computer in the office. And that computer is linked up to each of those guns. Uh, we can start those guns, turn those guns off, and you can actually click and turn those guns on to automatic. And that automatic um, button allows them to adjust themselves due to the humidity in the air, the temperature, how much water is coming through. Um, you can see all 20 guns on there. You can see all the temperatures. They each have a weather station on them. Um, you can actually trend. So you can actually look to see how much water we've used throughout the last uh, you know, few weeks to a month or even the year, mm -hmm. uh, what the temperatures have been doing. And from there, we can kind of plan you know, the next year, kind of how much water we're going to use and when we might use it. Crazy. And how much water does it take to run the snow guns for, say, an hour or...? Yeah, so we kind of do it. We have four pumps in our snowmaking plants, mm -hmm. and uh, when we're going full bore, we run in them all. We're doing about 3,200 gallons a minute onto the hill. So at that minus 10 or colder temperatures, we can make a lot of snow. But these warm temperatures we've had the last like month, it's mm -hmm. just been really tough to make a good quality snow. For sure. And so what features do we have open right now? And are there going to be any added features before opening up the terrain park? Yeah, so right now we have our upper park open and we still have our beginner park over by the gold carpet. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully if we get some cold temperatures, we can get things moving quick. We'll get the train park open for Christmas. If not, we're going to open some kind of like micro parks, we're going to call them. Okay. So maybe our pro line up at the top that we had open last year, some more advanced rails. And, mm -hmm. you know, we'll be switching features out too so things don't get too boring out here. Awesome.